Hello everyone, Von Kaiser here, and welcome to another game of Napoleon Total War. Today I am playing as the Portuguese, and I am facing the might of the British Army. Um, I am playing on the Syrian Ridge map, and it is in the desert, and yes, it is raining. No, I'm not hosting this game, because I, I would not have it rain in the desert, but uh, just what happens sometimes. But anyway... Uh, today I have my army is made up of seven units of regular line infantry, uh, four units of skirmishers. Uh, I brought two units of these uh, light line infantry, which are basically line infantry that are kind of like skirmishers with the range, but kind of like uh, line infantry where they have better formation, better melee abilities. I have five units of the Portuguese cavalry, the only cavalry unit that the Portuguese have. I have my general's bodyguard unit with my general right there and then I have one nine pounder artillery piece I'm making my way over to the ridge here and my opponent's army consists of wow at least one two three four five six seven eight nine nine ten wait one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten units of highland foot which are these guys um, Better than regular line infantry for sure. You could almost call them like the Marine, the U.S. Marines of the uh, British Army, if you want to make that comparison. He has ten units of that of those. Um, he has a few units of light foot. I think he has two or three. General's bodyguard in the background. He actually brought a historical general, and you can see him right here with a top hat. General Picton. Uh, he has also four units of uh, lifeguard cavalry. Uh, two on his right flank and two on his left flank. Anyway, in the beginning here, uh, my opponent rushed over to the uh, ridge. So I was unable to capture it. Though, luckily, my skirmishers are able to fire upon his light foot. Simply because his light foot aren't in range. So they're going to take quite a few casualties due to that. See all the dead Englishmen. Uh, Portuguese, the Portuguese uh, faction in general does not really have the best units. They have no elite units, one cavalry unit. The only thing they do have that they have good skirmishers. Uh, but by b good skirmishers, I mean they have equal skirmishers with everyone else. But um, that's okay. For I have hope my numbers will prevail. Um. You can see over here that I, my opponent is moving two units of Highland Foot, which are these guys right here, and his two units of Lifeguard Cavalry uh, around this little pond lake thing. I'll bring up the mini-map so you can see. Um, these triangles are the uh, Cavalry. Uh, he's red, by the way. I'm blue. Uh, you can see that my skirmishers are continuing to fire over here at these guys but uh due to the rain the rain has different effects on uh the muskets apparently which makes misfires and uh basically everyone more inaccurate so their fire isn't truly effective right now okay let's see see over here that uh, the game begins with a cavalry engagement over on my far left flank um it's my regular portuguese cavalry against uh, two units of my opponent's lifeguard, which is some of the best cavalry in the game. So immediately I'm at a disadvantage over here. But I do bring over one, another cavalry unit to help uh, even out the uh, to even out the uh, inequality in the quality of the unit. I also have these light line infantry folks shooting into his highland foot right here, which actually have brought in uh, quite a few casualties on that unit. Um, I'm bringing over to bring my cannon in position, and I see that uh, I need more help over here on my left flank, so I take off two, one skirmisher unit and one line infantry unit to help assist in the uh, battle over here on the left flank. You can see that due to this hill, my opponent's uh, fire is not just going right into the hill in most spots, so it isn't truly really effective, and also I'm able to hide my guys in here, which really helps.
So I actually did win that cavalry engagement somehow. You can see a bunch of dead cavalry units right here. But he brought over a unit of his Highland foot and uh, put in square formation. So I had to retreat. And he does manage to uh, route this unit right running, here. With that cavalry force, he charges into my light line infantry. So you can see a skirmish going on over here. Meanwhile, down the rest of the line, nothing's happening really. Some skirmishers engaging. He has two more units of light, lifeguard cavalry over here. I have guys over here ready to meet him. Going for the cavalry charge, but at the last second here, he puts this guy in square formation. Which I think is almost kind of cheap, I'm not going to lie. Simply because I, I can't imagine anyone getting into formation that quickly, but uh... Best the British have to offer, I suppose. Meanwhile, over here, my light line infantry is holding up, but they are losing, so they're going to route eventually. But they are putting quite a few ca uh, casualties on the, not only the two cavalry units, but also the uh, island foot unit here. But they do end up routing, which is unfortunate. See my guys engaged over here. That guy just died. I don't even know if he can just be even stabbed or anything. I do manage to route the Highland unit, but he immediately brings over cavalry. And my guys are already suffering from wild problems, so... It's not a good day for the Portuguese. Our men are running, sir. Things will turn around. Uh, I, have my, I finally deployed my cans over here, and they are firing away. Up oh, the reloading. Here, I thought they were going to fire. Uh, my skirmishers are still firing away, but due to the rain, their fire is highly inaccurate, and uh, these guys are just going to stay where they are. Now, I wasn't paying attention, but my opponent is bringing over his cavalry. Uh, he's going to bring it right over here. Bring up the mini map to show you. My line, my opponent. You see my opponent is starting, is starting to come in on my flanks while he's leaving the bulk of his army up on the ridge right here. It's all quiet along the main front with my artillery firing away into this unit right here. Which they're putting in a few casualties so the more dead British the better. Uh, I have this unit of regular line infantry firing away into uh, this unit of Highland Foot. But due to the trees and the uh, terrain and the rain, uh, nothing's getting through, unfortunately. Um, I wasn't paying attention, and you can see that my opponent brought down two Highland Foot units. He ran them down. And now he's in with close proximity of my skirmishers right here, which was a micromanagement uh, mistake on my part. I was far looking over here at this cavalry, and he snuck them over past my under my nose. So my skirmishers will start shooting them as long as they don't charge. Extremely close. I did switch my cans to canister though when I started firing into these guys, so this is why you have this group of dead British right here. Managed to route one of his Highland Foot units, but now he's bringing his cavalry around my to my rear. And now he's charged into my skirmishers, and my skirmishers aren't meant for uh, hand to hand combat. They don't even have bayonets, so uh, they're pretty screwed. Running, and now they're running. So of course to try to bolster up my flank, which is basically destroyed at this point, I have this unit trying to chase down the cavalry, which I soon realize is uh, pretty pointless. Um, I'm going to have them deploy into a line right here and start firing upon these uh, British folk right here. Meanwhile, the rest of the line is pretty boring. Uh, over here on the right, he charges into my cavalry. Once again, uh, I was busy paying attention elsewhere on the map. 
so he got the jump on me again. But doesn't help at all, also considering that he has lifeguard and I have this one Portuguese cavalry, which is the only cavalry you can choose for the Portuguese. So, uh, Maria at a disadvantage. You can see I brought this one line infantry unit back. And, uh, the fire into this group, but, uh, he brought his cavalry back over, but I managed to get them in a square formation. Well, most of them. Some guys will just stand there and, uh, take the hit, apparently. Which then he immediately breaks off and charges into my other, uh, unit, which I will get into a square. Our men are running! Wait, somebody's sir. running. Who's running? Oh, my cavalry over here on the fl on my right flank could not stand up. But I have this light line infantry unit firing into the cavalry, which are putting quite a few casualties on them. Um, I do manage to route this unit of Highland Foot right here, but he does get a successful cavalry charge in on my guys right here. But I have my guys counter charge. Meanwhile, in the center, there is still no activity whatsoever. So. This is battling to see who can control the flanks, and unfortunately right now my opponent's winning. Got these guys trading fire right here. These dudes are dropping right now. Some of my guys are dropping. I do manage about the cavalry unit right here, so that's good. Sir! Sir! Our general is under Man, he started shooting my general at this point, but he doesn't get anywhere with that. Uh, with his few cavalry forces remaining on the right, he charges into my uh, light line infantry. So they can fight back. So uh, they're going to do so in the best way they know how. I'm going to bring up the minimap right now kind of show what's going on. You can see that basically uh, he tried to come around both my flanks. And pretty effectively I mean I did take a lot of casualties but I did manage to hold I managed to hold my left flank over here um, I also managed to uh, hold my right but now knowing this that my opponent now comes right down the middle at me Our men are running, uh, who else is running now oh uh, my opponent manages to route my light line infantry unit So we all begin firing at... I don't know where this guy's going. No man's land in the center here. I still have my cans firing away. You see, I just plunged a hole right here. You can see I'm not putting too many casualties on these Highland Foot units. They're really hard to route. I underestimated this unit while fighting. One of my skirmishers unit, or my light line infantry unit, though, did come back from routing, so they're reloading right now. Bring up the map here, get a better understanding of what's going on. Uh, he tries charging in with a cavalry attack, but I put him in a square and he realizes, so he basically holds the charge except for those few units that do end up running in. You can see that he's trying to develop around what would be my right flank, his left flank. He's trying to come around my right. Luckily with this pond lake thing right here, it's making it more difficult for him. So that's where the train gave me a bonus. And I completely demolished uh, his troops over here on the left flank, as you can see over here on the map. So I'm going to bring them up. To outflank him. So in the middle, the fighting is basically pretty even at this point. He uh, uses his general to gain morale. I guess the train was not favoring because all my shots were flying over my opponent. If you look here, like this unit has only lost one man in the entire unit. This one, he hasn't even lost a single person yet. So that is causing a couple of problems for me. You can see though I folded up his uh, his uh, 
right flank, and I, which is my left flank, and I am now coming around, and I'm soon going to be firing into the sides of my opponent, uh, but he does turn his guys, so uh, there's a problem for him. And at this point in the battle, I was pretty confident because I was coming around his flanks and I was able to hold mine. So it's a pretty even battle. I do have a slight advantage when it comes to this little cursor bar down here on the bottom, but I don't really, I don't really count on that too much simply because uh, it's pretty unreliable. Our men are running. Sir. Uh, he does man. He does route my skirmisher unit right here. Oh no, this was a regular line infantry unit. He does route it. Now, what the game isn't telling you, like in these little pop-ups up here, when it's like, oh, your men are running, what it isn't telling you is that, while I have the number advantage still, basically a majority of my units here are out of ammo. Like this unit right here, out of ammo. If I remember correctly, this unit right here, out of ammo. Oh, well, maybe they're not. Nope, that's a lie. They're not out of ammo. But the point is, a lot of my guys are running out of ammo. Units has used all its oh, well I guess they do tell you. Yep, see now this unit ran out of ammo. So when a unit runs out of ammo, I really don't have much choice but to uh, send them in for a charge. And looking back at it, I probably should have thickened their line so it wasn't just a straight, like, thin line running into their Highland Foot unit. But uh, when a unit runs out of ammo, I don't have any choice but to send them in for a charge. And uh, going up against their Highland Foot, um, I would not advise it. Uh, My guys are suffering from morale problems. And now they run. Barely have barely haven't even touched the unit. So with all my units running out of ammo, uh pretty much up a creek without a paddle. Our generals engage over here and mine takes some pretty hard casualties doesn't help that I kind of left my guy standing there right in front of his uh, line infantry right there. But uh, my general routes and my guys that charge route and now I'm pretty screwed. The only units I have left is uh, this line infantry unit and this skirmisher unit which I believe is out of ammo. I, I had this unit coming around the back uh, but they are coming back around when I had an entire line up. And I was playing out on flanking my opponent, but that whole plan fell apart. Now my skirmishers are routing. Um, these guys did manage to come back from routing, which I did not notice at all. But it won't matter because they'll soon start routing again anyway. So. Putting up a brave last fight. Yeah, but my line infantry now route. I do have these, uh, these guys over here firing in to this line right here. Killing as many of the enemy as I can before the end. I also have my cannon back here, which is, I planned on redeploying. Not much uh, time left in the game. There, the, the, my opponent hosted the game, and uh, he put a time limit on it. So it was a 20 minute time limit. So. I was kind of hoping to wind down the game until, uh, so it would be a draw, even though I, I basically lost, which I did, I, I lost this game. There's no coming back from this. Without my general, my troops have basically no morale. Like, these units aren't even near my, uh, near, aren't even near my opponent, they just start routing. So, uh, that was ba that's the game there. For playing the Portuguese, though, I am proud of my efforts, um... Portuguese versus uh, the uh, British Empire it is a great game. Um, good game to my opponent, uh, Puerto Rico Angel. Uh, we deployed about the same amount of guys. Uh, we killed about the, he killed just a little less than a hundred more of my guys than I killed of his. So, uh, what good game, my opponent? And I hope to see you guys next time.